Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session, What's New in Splunk Enterprise Security. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Patrice Regalado. I'm a Product Marketing Director for Splunk Security Solutions. I've been a Splunker for about three years and in cybersecurity for over 12 years in various product management and product marketing roles. Also joining me today is my partner in crime, Marquise Montgomery. Marquise, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone? Hey everybody, my name is Marquise Montgomery. I'm Principal Product Manager for Splunk Enterprise Security. I've been at Splunk for about eight years and been working in cybersecurity my entire professional career in various roles uh, in the SOC, in security consulting, and now uh, in product management. Can't wait to share what we have in store for Splunk ES. Awesome. Okay, so let's dive right in. So if you're new to Splunk Security, um, I'll first give a, a brief overview of our vision for a modern SOC platform. As your partners in security, we're here to help our customers stay agile to threats by bringing you this comprehensive modern SOC platform that's really centered around data. And we're providing this with near real-time data and analytics platform that collects all of that security relevant data that feeds into our, our SIM, the Splunk SIM, to support incident management and identification of new, new threats or known threats. Then we have behavioral analytics to look for those unknown threats and then orchestration and automation to actually take action once you find those threats. Uh, and then lastly, an integrated uh, threat intelligence to bring external sources of intelligence and new indicators of compromise from trusted organizations into your internal environment to help you identify threats even faster and to create a more secure enterprise. Also, lastly, not to mention our extensive ecosystem of security integration partners. And now with Splunk's modern soft platform, you have really everything you need here to take security to an entirely new level. You've got Splunk and the power of our core platform underneath. And we have our premium offerings available on premises and also in the cloud, including Splunk Enterprise Security to help again, look for those uh, known threats. And then we've got Splunk User Behavior Analytics um, or Behavioral Analytics, look for those unknown threats. Uh, and then Splunk Soar to help provide our security orchestration um, capabilities. And now that True Star Threat Intelligence is part of our uh, Splunk family, we, look, we very much are looking forward to offering our customers the native threat intelligence capabilities that are available uh, with, with TrueStar. And for those of you who are still new to enterprise security, enterprise security is our market leading SIM and security analytics solution to help you gain that detailed understanding of your security posture and everything that could be putting it at risk so that you can quickly take action. And it includes fast and flexible investigations that'll automatically give you everything that you need to make educated decisions as to which actions to take next. And you know, some of you may still be unfamiliar with risk-based alerting. Um, hopefully you're not because we're gonna be talking a lot more about it uh, at call. Um, so risk-based alerting and enterprise security um, takes threat detection to a whole new level um, by improving true positive detection rates and helping drive better outcomes in the stock. Again, we'll cover a little bit more about RBA later. And you'll also hear from a lot of our customers who are implementing RBA, who have been implementing RBA and some of their results that they've had um, experienced already to date. Um, EOS also helps you strengthen your cloud security posture by giving you the visibility that you need across uh, AWS, GCP, uh, Azure cloud services. And then last but not least, the scalability to monitor unprecedented volumes of tens of terabytes per day of data. So in ES 6.6, uh, which was released back in June, we added a lot of new capabilities and enhancements to make your job easier, including a new and improved incident review dashboard, a risk-based alerting event timeline visualization, and uh, cloud security monitoring shared storage data sets. Uh, shared storage data sets. So in case you missed this, um, you can also view the on-demand ES 6.6 Tech Talk, which you can find in our Splunk community site. Uh, so Marquise, can you walk us through some of those highlights of ES 6.6? Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm super excited about uh, the new release and also all the other really great work that the team's been uh, delivering this year. 
And uh, in case you missed it, we wanted to talk through really quickly uh, what we have uh, already available today in CSI 6. So up first, we have incident review dashboard enhancements. Uh, incident review is the most popular dashboard and feature in Splunk Enterprise Security. And so we wanted to spend some uh, time with it, modernizing it and making it uh, the workflow much easier to use from a performance perspective and adding some new capabilities. So you'll see new filtering capabilities, a much more modern way of adding filters for your notable events. You also have the ability to save those filters. So if you're a threat intelligence engineer um, or a, a fraud analyst or uh, some other member of the SOC, you can build a filter for the things you care about and then set it as a default so that right away when you load the dashboard, you see exactly what you're looking for, which is gonna help you get to work faster. We also added a new dispositions filter or feature into uh, incident review where you can mark a notable event as a true positive, benign positive, or false positive. And this allows us to do some additional reporting on the quality of your notable events uh, down the road. One of the other things we added to uh, enterprise security in the 6.6 release is uh, additional data models to support our cloud security monitoring initiative. Now, this is a multi-release initiative uh, meant to make sure that you have just as much coverage for data sources and, uh, and data enrichment for cloud data sources as you do for on-premises uh, security controls and data sources. And uh, we've been working on this for quite some time. We've got great coverage and this just adds more to our additional coverage. So new in 6.6, we've added support for shared storage cloud data services like Box, Google Drive, SharePoint, and OneDrive. And this helps you operationalize your data uh, coming into Splunk Enterprise Security and help you build a more unified cloud security posture alongside all of your on-premises data sources as well. Another capability we've added to enterprise security in the 6.6 for this release that we're very excited about is the risk-based alerting event timeline. Risk-based alerting event timeline allows you with one click and instant review to see all of the risk events that contributed to a risk notable. So with one click, you're able to see all the immediate context about what caused a risk object's risk score to exceed the threshold. We think this is gonna allow analysts to really accelerate how much information they're able to download and make a decision about whether or not this notable event needs further investigation or not. Patrice, uh, do you have any other information you want to share about risk-based alerting? Yeah, actually, thanks, Marquis. Um, you know, it's really so exciting to see how far RBA has come in ES, and we're just really just starting to scratch the surface. Um, you know, I can't overemphasize how many of our customers have told me that. RBA has changed their lives and let them find things that they would have missed. Uh, Risk-based alerting in enterprise security is really the most innovative way of finding low volume, high fidelity threats that normally get lost in the noise of data. But you know what? Don't just take our word for it. Uh, I highly encourage you to check out these terrific RBA sessions at .com. Uh, like here with Matt Snyder from VMware. Uh, be before implementing RBA, their investigations went from taking days to minutes. Uh, you can learn more about how they got these amazing results in the breakout session, uh, SEC 1163A. Also another great breakout session to check out is Accenture's journey to risk-based alerting with ES, where they were able to reduce uh, alerts by up to 80% and reduce their false positive rates by 30%. Again, these are just a few examples of how RBA has transformed an and optimize many of our customers' socks. Um, so please definitely go check th these uh, sessions out. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it back off to Marquise to show you what's new. I can't wait to show you all the new capabilities. Let's get right into it. So what's new? Uh, we have several new features that we've added to enterprise security, and I can't wait to go into all of them with you. They include a new executive summary dashboard, a new security operations dashboard, additional cloud security monitoring dashboards, real-time content updates. Uh, first, let's get into the executive summary dashboard. 
So for the executive summary dashboard, this is a dashboard that's meant to increase visibility for CISOs and other senior leadership in the security monitoring program. Splunk Enterprise Security has a mountain of information about how your security program is operating. And we're gonna use this new dashboard to surface that information in an easy to digest way about the overall health of the SOC. Some of the key insights that are uh, recorded on the dashboard include mean time to triage, mean time to respond, uh, notable assignment over time, risk-based alerting trends, and adopt adaptive response action trends. Now, seeing is believing, I wanna give you a quick demo on the executive summary dashboard, and then we'll get into some of the other new features of Splunk Enterprise Security. Splunk Enterprise Security now includes the new executive summary dashboard, which provides several metrics and key insights about the overall health of your security monitoring program. You can filter your metrics over several common timeframes and use these metrics to track how your security operations improve over time. First, in the key metrics section, we have mean time to triage, which is measured the time between a notable event being reported and a notable event first actioned, like being assigned or commented on. Next, we have mean time to resolution, which is the time between a notable event being reported and a notable event being moved to an end status, like closed or resolved. And next, we have the count of investigations, which indicate deeper cases that have gone through an investigative process. All the key metrics are compared over the current time frame and the previous duration of that time frame for comparisons. Next, in the notable section, you'll see insights about how many notable events your environment encounters, what their urgencies and domains were, and importantly, what might have gone untriaged. You'll also see rare correlation search sources contributing to your notable events. For risk, Splunk and Appraise Security now includes risk-based alerting and helps you track your risk notables alongside your traditional notable events. In the risk section of the executive summary dashboard, you can see your risk notable uptake, how many risk events actually turn into risk notables, and what risk event sources do not ultimately become risk notables most often. Finally, there are a few additional metrics, like how often you have adaptive response actions triggered and how your correlation search coverage changes over time. So we're so excited to get the executive summary dashboard out into the world. Next, let's talk about this new security operations dashboard. Now this dashboard is similar to the executive summary dashboard, but it goes a little bit deeper and it's gonna be more relevant to SOC managers and team leads uh, for security analysts. So on this dashboard, we have some uh, key insights like mean time to triage, respond and investigations created just like on the other dashboard. But we have some deeper insights around uh, assigned notables, analyst workflow and notable disposition. Let's dig in and do a demo with that dashboard as well. It was security operations dashboard, which provides new key metrics similar to the new executive summary dashboard, but also includes deeper analytics on analyst workload, notable assignment, and notable event disposition. Let's dig in. In the key metrics section, you'll find the same top level metrics like mean time to triage, mean time to resolution, and investigations created just like on the executive summary dashboard. You'll also see a few new ones. Assign notables over time lets you focus on what gets assigned and what does not. And notables in end state lets you see how much your team is able to close out of what is assigned. Finally, you can see a breakdown of individual security analyst close rates in your selected time frame as well. Next, Splunk Enterprise Security 6.6 introduced the new dispositions feature of incident review, which allows you to record whether a notable event was a true positive, benign positive, or false positive and needs its detection logic reviewed. Now, you can see and report on this data over time and get a deep dive into exactly which correlation rule sources contribute to each of the four default disposition types. 
This allows you and your team to immediately identify what correlation rules should be expanded on and which ones may be eligible to retire. I hope you're as excited about the new executive summary dashboard and the new security operations dashboard as I am. But that's not all. We've got a couple other things to share that's new. But first, we have new cloud security dashboards that give you enhanced visibility into your AWS and Microsoft 365 cloud security data sets. This will provide you with enhanced visibility into things like security groups, uh, network ACLs, and IAM activity. We also have some updates with real-time content updates in our Enterprise Security Content Updates app. Enterprise Security will now proactively notify you of new content updates from the Spawn Threat Research Team and enables you to get those updates in one click. This is going to dramatically simplify the route that new content comes from Splunk into your enterprise security environment. We can't wait for you to take, uh, you get your hands on the new content and take advantage of all of our threat resource teams work and, and, and content. And with that, on behalf of Marquise and myself, thank you so much for taking the time to join our session today and take care and be well, everyone. Thanks everyone. See you soon.